Hello, my name is Josh Demude, and in this sixth lecture of Unit 3 of CSE 550, we will be very briefly defining the maximum cardinality matching problem. You might recall from Unit 0 that a matching in an undirected graph is a set of edges such that no two edges at the matching share an endpoint. So formally written down, if we have a set of edges M that we claim is a matching, then any pair of edges I can choose from M better have the property that the endpoints of the first edge and the endpoints of the second edge are disjoint, okay? We're gonna introduce some, some new terminology here. We're going to say that a node V is covered by a matching if there's some edge in the matching that has V as an endpoint. Otherwise, if there is no such edge, we're going to call V exposed. This definition could, in concept, also be extended to sets of nodes S. So instead of saying one node is covered, we could say a whole set of nodes is covered if every node in that set has some edge uh, with it as its endpoint in the matching, and otherwise we call it exposed. So here's an example. Uh, we have this graph with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight edges, or I'm sorry, eight nodes. The blue edges form a matching because no two of these blue edges share an endpoint. And this blue matching covers A, D, C, E, F, and H because all of those edges are those endpoints. And it exposes B and G because there are no edges of the matching that have B or G as endpoints. It's very easy to define what we mean by maximum cardinality. So the cardinality of a matching is simply the number of edges in M, which we denote as the size of the set M. So for example, in this uh, matching that we showed on the last slide, this has cardinality three because it has one, two, three edges in the matching. And the maximum cardinality matching problem is exactly as you might expect. Given an undirected graph G, our job is to find a matching that is of maximum cardinality. It has as many edges in it as possible. So that's all I want to say for this very short lecture is just to define this problem. What's going to come next is a series of two lectures. The first one is going to talk about how to solve this problem in the simpler case of what are called bipartite graphs. We'll define that in the next lecture. And the bipartite graph has a series of nice properties that end up making this maximum matching problem easier. Then once we've solved it in that easy case, we're going to consider, consider the general case where the graph, the undirected graph can look however it wants to. And we will once again go off and find an algorithm that solves this problem there, but we'll have to do a little more work to get there. So join me for those next two lectures and we'll take a look at this problem.